are the rods of God. In 1964, Dr. Jerry Pornell conceived one of the most terrifying weapons ideas ever, gravity. Fuck you and your Apple Isaac Newton, we need something a little more patriotic. Instead of a Granny Smith smacking you on the forehead, I want you to imagine a girthy metal telephone pole being dropped from outer space. What is essentially just a spicy lawn dart would reach speeds of up to Mach 10 before impacting the Earth with a yield similar to that of an atomic bomb. With such a simplistic design, conspiracists theorize this weapon is already in operation, and with a yearly budget of almost $800 billion, it's definitely possible. All this destruction caused by nothing more than kinetic energy. Shalom. Kohulo Yahweh Shemiel Shah by Shemur Karkadais. The monster of the apostles, the monster of the elders, and great millstone rule well and taught us this truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there, just preach this word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of earth. Tabernacle David, hopeful elect, and the speckled bird, one says Shalom. So, uh, as you've seen from the video that I posted before this commentary, uh, the rise of God, all right? And best believe, Yahweh Bashim Shai will put the spirit on Esau, Edom, and these other nations <laughs> to use that technology. So I want to get into uh, some of the reasons why that technology is going to be used. Because uh, earlier, yesterday, I watched this video about um, Israelite man. You know, hey, he's trying to take care of his seed. And the woman that he had a child with, you know, she was very unruly. Very, very unruly. All right. Expecting for him to take care of the three other children. All right. And, hey, this just boils down to we need Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. Because our household is out of order, man. All right. Because if this land, if our people actually follow the ways of Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, all right, we will understand that a woman's only supposed to have one man. Unless that man dies, okay? And so, you know, in this video, hey, once again, she was unruly. Throwing the food. You know, hey, <laughs> as a matter of fact, you really ain't, ain't supposed to have that food anyways. But, you know, anyways, you know, hey, he, he was still trying to take care of his, take care of his seed, man. All right? So, unruly women and, and men, Israelites. Are going to get the rod of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. They're going to get, they're going to get that correction. All right, and it's going to be by, by those flames, all right? Either by those rods, gravity hitting them, or those nuclear warheads. All right, because it's also the spirit. Uh, I was watching uh, uh, one of the brothers' videos right before I uh, was doing this lesson. I'm like, man, this is the spirit, because also. Esau Edom, he has uh, energy weapons. And the brother was going into, because I watched it as well, you know, um, uh, in that uh, show Omni-Man, all right, Invisible, Omni-Man, you know, he got hit by one of uh, those laser, those uh, energy weapons. <laughs> hey, don't be surprised. Any the times that we coming into, don't be surprised to see all hell break loose, you know, those energy weapons being shot off. But the elect, all right, the men of the Lord won't have to worry about being <laughs> evaporated, man. Being disintegrated. Okay? But you two-thirds, hey, best believe, hey, there is no protection. There is no covering for you, man. No covering for you. Matter of fact, I'm going to get this right here. Isaiah 54 and verse 16. Behold, I've created the smith. That bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. All right, because Babylon, the Great America, has brought out over those uh, German scientists, and you know those wise men of teaming. And um, you know, a hey, the Lord put that spirit upon them to crack that code to understand how to um, put all those atoms together to make a nuclear bomb all right and and really that goes into his blessing all right his blessing is a sword all right with his blessing being the sword he's made to kill a lot of people take a lot of people into the spirit world let's get some more of this another reason why the rod of god is going to hit babylon the great 
in uh, various parts of the earth, especially you Amakites over there in our land. <laughs> okay, confusion. Flat out confusion, man. We need, we need, um, we need the Lord pronto, and the Lord sending those plagues. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get this right, right quick. Let me go to uh, Second Ezra's fifteen. Let's see. Uh, let's see what I want to get. Uh, uh, Slacky, y'all. Uh, this is Second Ezra fifteen and verse eleven. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch out arm and I and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with plagues, and the punishment that power shall bring upon it. So it is nothing new on the sun. The plagues that the Lord has brought upon the past Egypt, He's going to bring unto. Sodom and Egypt here, which is Babylon, America. All right. He's going to bring those same plagues and more to Babylon. Okay. Let's get, um, it's a video that I did earlier today. And uh, when I went to this video, once again, for those who haven't seen it, when I went to this video, you know, you had a lot of women scoffing, man. And so guess what? The majority of the two thirds is women. Okay, <laughs> and 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 don't get it twisted. A lot of women is gonna be saved and delivered in these times that we coming into. But uh, once again, hey, you go to uh, you go to this video, and you had a whole bunch of women scoffing, and this woman was sp uh, <laughs> speaking the truth, man. Okay, she was speaking the truth. So, hey, that's another reason why the ride of Yahweh Bashem Shah is going to hit Babylon the Great. A lot of y'all going to be destroyed by that thermonuclear power. You also got this right here. Massive bacon recall in Illinois, Indiana, and Kentucky. Well, you ain't supposed to be eating it anyway, so the Lord is taking it away. <laughs> another plague, man. You know, we got all these uh, factories food factories shutting down or burning down hey that's the judgment of the lord you know y'all want to eat high off the hog <laughs> well eventually y'all stomach is going to be touching the back got right here more confusion all right all these uh companies gonna pay for the travel and costs for abortions come on man the modern day Modern day fire of Molek. All right. Saw this right here. All right. Sister wife star Leon Brown comes out as transgender transformer. I am finally ready to share my favorite self with the world. And this world brings nothing but confusion, man. So best believe. <laughs> this place, a hey, this, this place is really going to feel it, man. And I saw this earlier today. I had to take a screenshot of it. Because uh, if you look closely, it's 555. And 555 goes into that power. All right? And the men of the Lord are going to get that power. They're going to be made more precious. Matter of fact, let's get that. More precious than fine gold. Because this woman right here, she set up her uh, ex-boyfriend or boyfriend at the time or whatever man that she was dealing with or man that she was dealing with in the past to get robbed. All right? And uh, hey, we hey, we need the Lord, man. We don't need that spiritual power, and the Lord's going to give it unto His elect. This is Isaiah thirteen to twelve. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. All right, that that elect man. All right, they're going to be given that power. Okay, and we hey, we going to need it, and a lot of our women in that time is going to get in order. The ones that don't, hey, they're going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire or whatever Yahweh Bashim Shah has set up for them. Okay? I believe that's it. All right. Matter of fact, uh, let's get this right here. Isaiah 32 and verse 2. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert 
from the tempest as the rivers of waters in a dry place, as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. All right, and men the Lord gonna get that power, and and a hey, people gonna see that protection and, and gonna want that protection. But hey, that's up to the men the Lord in that day. You know, had dreams about it. People may come up to you and you push them away. Like hell, no, I ain't, I ain't dealing with you, man. All right, <laughs> all right. Let's get some more scriptures. Uh, let me get this right here. Isaiah 54 and verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage, okay? This is our heritage, man. Of the servants of the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, and the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. All right? So, hey, the men of the Lord won't have to worry about uh, these energy weapons, these thermal nuclear uh, destruction that's coming, all right? Because we don't have those that, that spiritual power, man. And eventually, the Lord is going to give us those new bodies, Lord willing, we those men, all right? And everybody that comes up against us, hey, in that day, that's, that's your head, man, Okay? You literally putting yourself in the coffin, man. It's the Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day of coming that shall burn as an oven. All the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. All right, and we waiting for that day. And Lord willing, we'll have that mark of exemption. And, and you know, we'll get being up in them chariots and looking down upon the destruction of Babylon. And, and all the enemies of Israel. Okay. Let's see. Uh, burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Hey, they're going to be disintegrated, man. They're going to meet that judgment that Yahweh Shemel Shah has set for them. Verse 2 But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked. For they shall be as ashes under the soles of your feet. In the day that I shall do this. Okay. In the day that I shall do this. Because we got to reiterate that. Because you have a lot of carnal Israelites. Or a lot of carnal people in, in general. Or people in general. That want to take matters in their own hands. No. We wait patiently upon Yahweh Shemel Shah to deliver us. All right. Save the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shemel Shah of hosts. All right. So, hey, you wait upon the Lord. He's going to give you the new body. You're going to see the destruction of your enemies. You're going to come down. And you're going to put your enemies in captivity. You're going to destroy your enemies, man. Hey, man, we, we got nothing to lose but everything to gain. All right. So, I also want to get into these videos a brother sent me earlier today. Well, yesterday, actually. And, um,. Hey man, another reason why Babylon the Great has to be destroyed. Toxic masculinity is going to make a huge comeback. Yes sir, you're absolutely right brother. Only thing is, they ain't ready to hear that yet. But, amen, say it again, say it louder for those in the back. Toxic masculinity is going to make a huge comeback. Yes, and ideology is being pushed in America right now would simply not be accepted in other countries. An after-school Satan club for kids, something so blatantly evil, would simply not fly in South Africa. Let's listen to this woman from Trinidad speak on this topic. I would want, you know, Trinidad ain't ready for that. I tell you, if you come to Trinidadians and you tell them we're opening a Satan club, 95% of the Trinidadians going to be like, look, get out of here with your Satan club and nobody wants to be in your Satan club because we still have some of that. We're little all over the place, but we still have some of that. But I wonder the, the fact that they, people signing up for this thing because if you hear the music, ding, 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 you know, we, after school Satan club, they're teaching benevolence, empathy, critical thinking, problem solving. And listen to one of the guys. He said, they, they say they're not talking about Satan. So it's a Satan club, after school club, but they're not talking about Satan. They're talking about science. Right? He said, in their religion, science and reason 
are, what are, are the things that are the most valuable. Science and reason. Does that sound a little weird to you? What have we been hearing for the last two years? Trust the science. Yeah, that's what we hear for the last two years. You know, follow the science. Trust the science. And here it is, he's saying, in their religion, science and reason is what is the most valuable. So they want to teach your children science and critical thinking and all of this. And all of this is approved by the Supreme Court in the United States. I have a little video here. This video is the song. This is one of the theme songs that they're using to bring these children to the, to the class. Listen, I'm telling you, before they even start to play it, it is blood curdling when you hear what they're singing in this song for children with the nice little children beat. But let's play it. Go ahead and roll the video, Nigel. Satan's not an evil guy. He wants you to learn and question why. He wants you to have fun and be yourself. And by the way, there is no hell. Science is important so we understand the world. Satan looks for truth. Let's help him, boys and girls. Everyone is different. And that's okay with Satan He'll always treat you equal Whether you're black, white, or gay When all is said and done Satan doesn't actually exist He's an imaginary friend Who can teach us how to live Yeah, y'all could believe that we are living in a world where something like this is okay for children. Understand the minds of children. If you are so small, if all of us grew up hearing jingles like this, convincing you that Satan's not an evil guy. He just wants you to learn, right? In fact, he doesn't even exist. Right? It's just really, it's this whole idea. Listen, they are brainwashing the children. And then on top of that, remember, they took the Bible and God out of the schools ages ago. And now the thing that will get more support, because they will be afraid to fight against these people, they will get more support than even when you want to share a scripture, read a Bible verse or something. In schools, they will get that. This is what they are doing to the children now. All right. As you've seen from the videos, man, that wickedness that Esau Edom is pushing, you know, confusion. This man is utterly confused. He's saying in one breath that Satan loves you and in the other breath that Satan does, doesn't exist. Well, you've been destroyed. And trust in science, trust in science, trust in science. No, man. We don't trust in your science, man. <laughs> we trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. He's our shield. He's our buckler, man. Okay? Another reason why we got to get the heck up out of here. This is uh, 1 Timothy 6 and verse 20. Old Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoid profane and vain babblings and oppositions of silence falsely so called. All right? Because science means to know and with Esau Edom, he's out here freestalling and guessing. So we don't trust in your science, man. All right? Because there is true science. But the science that you have, you always trying to disprove the existence of the Lord. Want to push your pseudoscience, your evolution. All right? Try to, uh, hey, try to say Ham, Shem, and Japhet is the Mongoloid, Negroid, and Caucasoid. <laughs> Come on, man. Through, through. Matter of fact, let's get this. Proverbs 16 and verse 29. A violent man enticing his neighbor and leadeth 
him into the way that is not good. You see that? This man has to be destroyed, man. He's always, hey, the other nations have drunk in the wine of Babylon. They're drunken and they are mad. So they have woken up from their drunk state, following and trusting Esau, Edom. And they realize, hey, hey, this man is not to be trusted. So when are you Jakes out there going to trust the Lord? And stop believing everything that this man say. All right. Because this man is leading you into a path that is not good. Once again, in one breath, he's saying that Satan loves you. In another breath, he's saying that uh, uh, Satan doesn't exist. And then he's saying, you know, uh, <laughs> hell doesn't exist. All right. Now, for you Christians, this is going to go over your head. All right. How you Christians teach hell is not doctrine. Okay. Hell is a, is a um, way of life, man. All right. A state of life. Right, a, a condition. Right now, we're in hell. Our enemies are over us. Our enemies is pushing the transformer agenda hard. Our enemies is still to this very day killing us off, man. This is hell, man. You got to go to work early in the morning. You may be tired as hell. You can't enjoy your children. This place is hell. Okay. Matter of fact, we got to get this scripture for those who don't understand. All right, because the wicked is bearing rule. This is Proverbs 29 and verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Okay, when we're in power, even though the nation is going to get their ass whooped after their slavery, it's going to be peace, man. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And you see that, man. People gearing up. People got bug out bags. You know, people gearing up for war. All right, this this place is not a, a, a kingdom. It's not a rest, man. All right. This is hell. This is hell. And making uh, food shortages and all that stuff, man. This this is hell, man. This is not life. Let's see. Proverbs 4 and 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of an evil man. It's a commandment. But guess what? Our people still do that. Hey, hey, I bet. All right, because our people's as is as the sands of the sea. I bet some of our people has put uh, uh their children into uh, uh these Satan classes, man. After school programs, man. Come on, man. Matter of fact, let's get this Proverbs uh, thirteen and twenty one: Evil pursue of sinners, but to the righteous good shall be repaid. All right. So you want to follow the ways of Esau Edom? You want to do what Esau Edom does? All right. Evil is going to pursue you. And you're really going to see it when Jacob's trouble pops off. All right. But if you are the righteous, you're going to be rewarded. What the Lord say, my servant shall eat. Okay. Because we have these uh, food shortages coming up, man. The Lord is sending those plagues. All right. This is Isaiah 1 and 28. And the destruction of the transgressor and of the sinners shall be together. They that forsake the Lord, Yehovah Shemel Shai, shall be consumed. So that goes for you wicked ass Jake and also Esau Edom. Why did Esau Edom? All right. Because you, you said that this place is a Bible believing country, which that's a lie. And so when you did that, you were supposed to follow the ways of Yahweh Shemel Shai. But since you're upside down, you know, you're contrary to the ways of the Lord, you will be judged according to the ways of the Bible. All right. Matter of fact, Proverbs 3 and 35. Uh, the wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. And Lord willing, we are of the elect, man. And we're, and we're going to inherit glory. But shame is going to be on Esau, Edom. And you two thirds, as you read in uh, Daniel 12, a lot of our people is going to wake up to that everlasting shame and contempt, have their head down in the kingdom, man. All right. Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and close it right there. Uh, so Lord willing, it's edifying. It has some more scriptures, but hey, I may cover it in uh, another lesson. <laughs> people getting rowdy out over here, man. <laughs>
But um, Lord willing to edify, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Shem, Karkadash, and Wa'abababah, Shalom.